Hey, here we are at the end of February with a little look ahead at what we can expect in March. The lovely Georgia Nichols, thanks for being here. Great, good to be here as usual. Uh, okay, we're talking about March, uh, the time of Pisces, and uh, but uh, we're going to first take Aries. Okay. It is, uh, I say the time of Pisces because there's just so many planets in Pisces mm -hmm. right now, but we're going to talk about Aries. The good news for Aries is that on March 12th, Mars is going to return to their sign. Now, Mars is the ruler of Aries because every sign has a planet that rules them. What sign are you again? Sagittarius. Sag. So then as a Sag, Jupiter is your Jupiter. ruler, and I believe you're Libra rising. So Venus is your ruler that way. Okay. Right. So for Aries, Mars is the ruler, and Mars rules your muscles and how you aggress and how you assert yourself, and it's also very sexy. And so Mars is coming into their own sign, so they're going to be energized, and they need it because all this Pisces influence is hidden in their chart, and they're feeling vague and a little off and sort of funny. Hmm. And furthermore, rec uh, Mercury retrograde makes them just feel like lots of funny loops, tape loops are going. It's kind of strange, but I'm telling them come March 12th for the next month or so, they're going to feel revved up and ready to go. Okay. Taurus. It's going to be a very popular time for Taurus because all this Pisces energy is happening in an area that, that um, excites all their exchanges with groups and clubs and organizations and friends and whatnot. And uh, they might feel competitive with somebody, and they are definitely seeing people from their past. Hmm. Mercury retrograde brings people from our past, it, depending where it falls in your chart, and ex-partners too, depending again where it falls. <clears throat> I remember at one time, well, there yeah, I won't go into that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, no, it's just, it's an interesting oh, story, mind. but too long. Okay. Okay, so Taurus, very popular. And uh, they will be seeing oh, people from their past, and they should be rethinking their goals. Hmm. Rethinking their goals. Okay. Gemini. Well, Gemini really is going to feel the Mercury retrograde because Mercury rules Gemini. And Mercury retrograde is taking a, a high in their chart right now. So they're really thinking a lot about uh, their life direction in general, and they're wondering if they are going in the direction they should be going. They're dealing with parents or bosses and people, important people more than usual. And they could even be fighting with somebody. Hmm. Mars is high now and it makes them it makes them ambitious but it also makes them competitive and and the mercury retrograde could also loop them back into old situations with parents old situations with bosses like oh not this again okay you know okay cancer cancer cancers as a rule travel only for a reason they travel because their family wants to see them or they travel because there's a wedding or a reunion or a business and things like that they're not like sagittarians who could be out there rolling right watching those telephone poles going by so cancers though for some reason are going to want to travel a lot mm. they're going to travel this month and they may find i'm going to do a little warning for uh, cancers they could find um being stuck at airports, they could be have a lot of delays. It's easier for them to travel where they've gone to before. So they should all uh, double check all their travel reservations and hotel reservations and everything because it's a little sticky there. Okay. Leos, Leos are looking at their debt. Leos are big spenders. I'm a Leo. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, and, and Leos will even go in debt to entertain other people. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they <laughs> there is no justification for it. But, and so right now they're looking at shared money, inheritances, wills, everything they own with other people, which is also debt, mm -hmm. right? And they're trying to clean up their act a bit. It's sort of like enough already, right? And they are, yet at the same time, they're planning to travel. <laughs> they're making travel and booking ho nice hotel reservations. <laughs> nice hotel, okay. Uh, Virgo, Virgo, all this heavy emphasis from Pisces is right opposite Virgo. 180 degrees so they're very strongly focused on partners and close friends and whatnot but mercury retrograde is there too so virgos are definitely bumping into ex-partners mm, interesting i remember one time actually hiding in a video star <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, like trying to duck down and then getting busted right in, when I'm checking it out. Like, oh, hi, oh, good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we hate those moments? All right. Libra. Librans are totally focused on their work right now. And Mercury retrograde could be causing delays. Have you been feeling, feeling this at all? Delays, little snafus, little errors, little mm. ooh, little, you know. And they're focused on their health very strongly, too. But they've got energy to work. So they have to, you know, just uh, get a lot done right now. Okay. Scorpio. Scorpio, on the other hand, wants to have fun because it's all about play and pleasure and romance and they definitely are having ex-flames, old lovers back in their life again. Hmm. So uh, go out looking your best. You don't want to be really be busted because living well is the best revenge, right? Sagittarius. Sagittarius, the emphasis strongly is on home, family and their personal life, their private life. 
Um, they might be doing renovations and fixing up things. It's all, uh, and they're doing, dealing with old business. A lot of looping is coming there for them. A lot of like, oh, that again, okay, let's fix it, finally. Capricorn, Capricorn this is very busy for them. They're running around, they're taking uh, short trips, they're doing errands, they're talking to people. But Capricorns also are plagued a little because the Mercury retrograde is taking place right where Mercury lives. And so they will have missed buses, have car problems, that kind of thing, like delays. Okay. Oh, Jay, where's oh, Jay? Jay. Oh, Jay. Oh, <laughs> okay. we'll right. Make sure Jay checks all yes. his flights yes. before Yes, Aquarius, he they're very, very focused on money and they have a chance to earn money in jobs they worked at before. They should go back, if they're looking for a job, they should go back where they applied before and got turned down or where they worked before, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. There's, a, again, a looping of that effect. And they're very focused on their values right now and trying to figure out what they want to do. And finally, Pisces. All these planets are in Pisces right now. There's a heavy, heavy emphasis on them. And you said you know a lot of Pisces mm -hmm. having we birthdays to, as well. Yeah. Well, um, they too have a feeling of uh, deja vu, and they have this feeling of uh, things coming from the past. They're visualizing the future and yet remembering so much of their past because Mercury retrograde is taking place in their sign. And of course, that could mean they'll misplace their keys. They can't find a book. They can't find a piece of paper. They think, oh, I'm losing it. Am I like? They're not losing it. It's just silly little things. Fortunately, Mercury retrograde only causes silly errors. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Sounds like it'll be an interesting month. Thanks it, so much, Georgia. It's a pleasure. Always. As always, if you'd like to learn more and read more about what's in store oh, for yes. you. Oh, yes. Thank you. Pick up <laughs> you and your future, Georgia's book. And, uh, of course, you're in the province, online. Yes. Perfect. Thanks so much, Georgia. Nice Thank to you. see you. Okay. Well,